Hello and welcome to today's Technical Corner. I'm joined by Mike and between the two of us, we're going to try and eliminate your cycle times. <laughs> Mike, today, sorry about that, it's the conical barrel tools which you call eliminators. Eliminator, yeah. Yeah, basically that's it. You know, we come up with fancy names for our tools, but they're, you know, they're very relevant because we are eliminating lots of problems that people find when finishing uh, certain components. Sure. Exactly. We've got a video on the screen, actually. This there is on the go. 3 plus 2, 5 axis. Yeah. But essentially, we're using the, the side of the tool, aren't we? That's, yeah. the, that's the radius, so that's what governs your step down. Yeah. So the basics of the tool is if you've got a component, you've roughed it out, then you're finishing it, everyone goes mad about roughing cycles, but the finishing type cycles are very, very long in some applications. So if you're using a ball nose, let's assume it's a 10mm diameter, you've got a 0.2 step down is the basics. That takes a, an awful lot of time. Grid's a great finish. Up to, up to when the barrel tools uh, have been developed, we are looking at producing the same uh, uh, feature, sorry, with something like a 5mm step down or something mm -hmm. like that. So your step down is much, much greater. So say you've got a 10mm ball nose, you'd like to have a 5mm step down, you need a 250mm diameter ball nose, you can't. Mm -hmm. you, you imagine that circle, take a, a segment of that circle, and that becomes your flute. So you effectively, if you're using a a 250mm, 500mm radius flute that you're using a 500mm ball mm -hmm. nose. Yeah, and, and people see the headlines, don't they? They see cycle times of 80, 90%. Mm. And let's be honest, normally when we hear that, it's too good to be true. But with this technology, it's true, yeah. it's true isn't it? Yeah, very, very much so. Yeah, we, we've proven it day in, day out. You know, it, it's software driven. Mm -hmm. So 90% um, of the tooling needs to be produced for the component. For the application, that's where you know we have a, a separate department, Quick Cam Pro, and we will take your feature, your your component, and look to use a barrel tool mm -hmm. if it really needs to be. You know, it, mm -hmm. it's it's a great app application if you've got five axis, simultaneous five axis, mm -hmm. with supporting software, maybe Open Mind. Then that's that's your that's your go to tool. Sure. And I know there's, there's, there's half a dozen manufacturers or resellers of these products now, but you guys are all in, aren't you? You really, you know, you've got there's four, four different geometries and four different coatings there for different, for different materials where uh, yeah. some of the other, I won't say they're playing at it, they're not playing at it, they're being deadly serious, but you've got by far the largest range when you compare coatings, geometries, mm. and all the variables. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's no different in it. It's still a tool that needs to have the right geometry for the job. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a finishing tool, although we are semi-finishing in, in some applications. If you've got the right geometry, you get the best tool life, and we will take these back and we'll remanufacture as well. So we'll produce anything. The smallest tool we've done so far is a 1.8 diameter with a 0.8 ball nose uh, for a particular application. We also have done tools with 15 meter radius mm -hmm. flute. And you're actually selling these to end users? Yeah. People are actually bu buying these tools today? They are, yeah. Uh, it's 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 application driven, as you can imagine. We're a solutions company. If the uh, if the part requires a different strategy to ball nosing, so we say for finishing, they have to look at this this tool, and it's worth investing in the software because this will save you an awful lot of money. For sure. And I, I've spoke to a few people about it on on my journeys to to end users, and they appear scared. They've seen the videos of the tool doing this and a simultaneous tool path, but it's not that scary, Mike, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. There's full support. You know, we'll, we'll take a, you can send us a, a file. We can, we'll, we'll support the, the tool development. We'll support the uh, actual trial development. It's mm -hmm. easy enough for us to, if you get it right first time, great. If we need to adjust the tool, it's no problem for us. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. And I must say, I've been in tool in a long time. This is the biggest enhancement in five-axis technology since the five-axis machine tool itself. I think, yeah, since five-axis has come about, this is the biggest tool um, development. You know, there's uh, our company, when we first started to develop this, said, we have to invest in this. This is a, a, serious, uh, a serious development, and we want to be market leaders, mm -hmm. and we are. So there we have it, the conical bow tool. I mentioned before, some of you engineers were a bit reticent, a bit scared to use this technology. From my point of view, you should be scared not to use yeah. it, really. If you're not using this type of technology in two, three years to come, you might be in a bit of trouble. So take a look at the bow tool, some quick grind. Absolutely.